Hello, yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. All right, so yes, we're going to talk about some updates and some opinions of Miss Brianna. Yes, this was actually requested by a new subby. This is the only reason why I'm doing this, guys, because I kind of like faded away from the Brianna drama because uh, some things was going on and I didn't want no parts of it. But we're going to talk about it in my way that I know is safe and still entertaining. But before we get into it, you know what to do. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Leave us a comment and cut your notifications on. So I, you know, went around and I tried to look for Brianna and see if anything was going around. Because, you know, really no one's talking about her anymore not just because she threatened everyone but because maybe she just doesn't have that you know that spice anymore why because she cannot even mention the truth anymore let's just keep it real y'all the truth is why we're even talking about her i hate to say it she may not want to hear it but he kind of made her right she was really nothing when i say nothing was not known before she became Mrs. Latruth. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do this video on. It's basically how she ruined her own bag. Isn't that what you young people say? You know, in my age range, she ruined her own income um, because she wanted to be difficult and she wanted to be basically evil and put this man down when he had already had a huge bout with his own life. Okay, so this is just what we're going to do. I'm going to come from my own opinion as well as just some common sense. Okay, so let's get into it. Brianna, formerly known as Mrs. Latrue, has unfortunately found herself in a situation where she has jeopardized both her financial stability and her ability to continue her, uh, her career with her married name. Now, let me just understand this. Latrue's is that name is the source of her income whether she wants to understand that or not it's not just brianna it's not being brianna it's not queen brie it is la truth shout out to la truth because really i'm team la truth okay but i'm team everyone at the end of the day okay la truth is the name me and my husband was talking about this. It's like, did she not see what's love got to do with it? When Angela Bassett playing Tina Turner said he could have everything but my name. I mean, really, did we really want to see anime book? No, we know her as Tina Turner. That is the name that I gave her. And so in this condition and or this situation, yes, Ike is the truth. Right is all that other stuff. Ike, I mean, the truth gave her his name and so has she acted like a good old wife or a good old soon-to-be ex-wife she could have possibly still used the latruth name when i went to, to search latruth uh, brianna latruth when i went to search it on google honey those pictures that i'm showing now are like 10 years old it's nothing updated it's nothing, it's, it, it, look, those pictures of her and, 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 and Josh or whoever his name is, y'all let me know in the during comments her new, her new man. Is she even still with him? Last time I heard, they was having all kinds of stuff. Honey, I don't really keep up with this, but I do it for you guys. It's not about what I like, it's about what you guys like and support. Okay? That don't come up in Google. You know what comes up in Google when I put Brianna or Mrs. LaTruth? LaTruth and Brianna and from Brianna back in the day. So you guys got to understand that the reason why a lot of people on YouTube may not even be talking about Miss Brianna because Miss Brianna was going around like the angel of strikes, going around trying to do things to people's channels and people said, heck no, I'm not going to put, you see, ain't no clips in this video. We don't play that. Uh -uh, I ain't putting no clips of her because I, I don't want no problems. Okay. But, you know, y'all all ruined y'all bad kind of sort of because y'all just did not know how to talk about this young lady. I had one person come under my comments under a Brianna video and say, you know what? I like how you talk. You don't say nothing bad because she be, y'all. you know, she was like, basically, she be cussing the girl out. Like, honey, you can't cuss people out and expect them to be okay with you talking about them and making a little change. You just can't do that. We got to be on our Barbara Walters and Oprah's. Stilo. Did y'all not watch those people back in the day? We're journalists, people. 
Okay, we're journalists. We just we're, we're uh, you know street journalists, if you will. We're we're tea journalists. We're not up there necessarily with Barbara Walters, but who is going to be up there with Barbara Walters and Oprah Winfrey and Gail King and and all the other people, Hannah Storm? Who's going to do that? Yeah, we have our own right to be here and report what we want to report, but you gotta keep it nice. You gotta keep it real. You gotta keep it nice, but respectful. So nobody can get you with those B words and those H words and those S words. You can't get me on that because this is just opinionated commentary. It's clean. No one's being disrespectful. And it's a little bit of education and entertainment in it as well. Her actions towards her now ex-husband Latrue have been disrespectful and harmful, leading to the downfall of her money source. Let's just keep it real. That was her money source. Now, I'm not saying that people don't follow Brie and love Brie genuinely and this. And she's, you know, she's female. She's, you know, team, team lady, team, team single mom, team mogul. We get it. But at the end of the day, Brianna is, you know, we don't know you, honey. Outside of the truth, you have to build your own uh, personality to withstand the, the wind beneath the wings that the truth has given. You know, the trajectory of her channel right now is probably different because she cannot even legally talk about her ex-husband because of all the things that she was doing and she was acting wrong. Maybe because she's young. Maybe this is her first marriage. Maybe she couldn't handle it all. Uh, you know, going through a divorce, motherhood, a big, huge platform that was gifted from her ex-husband. Let's just keep that 100 because, you know, it's hard as heck to build something off of yourself. My own face on my own channel doesn't even get as many views as anyone else I talk about. Can you understand the, you know, issues I may have? Thank God I had the Lord in my life because I would feel some type of way that people other than myself are getting views. But who cares? At the end of the day, I'm a journalist. I'm just here to talk about everybody else, not myself. Anyway, it is important to note that relationships can be complicated and there are often two sides to every story. Okay, ladies, we can't just jump on the bandwagon just because, you know, she's a woman and a mother and all of that. You have to really just dissect the situation, which I had not done. I don't dissect them. I really didn't watch them like that. I just really, to be honest, got on the bandwagon because everybody else was doing it. So I went on and took a, you know, took a, a, a swing at it. You know, that's what I did, you know. However, based on the information provided, it seems that Brianna's behavior and choices have contributed to the significant negative outcome. Some may say, hey, what, what outcome? What, what's, what's negative? Yes, if you cannot keep the name that made you, the, the brand. The truth is a brand, by the way. Okay, that is a brand. He doesn't even use his real name or his actual name, which is Hampton. Even though we all know it's Hampton, it's on his Facebook or one of them. But the truth is a brand. He basically took the time to build that name. So anybody who becomes Mrs. The Truth again or The Truth is Boo, they too can go off and make their own uh, social media. But best in believe, I bet it'll be different. I bet he'll have them sign all kinds of NDAs and this, that, and the other. Because to be honest, you know, first time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. He not going to go down that same road and just go ahead and just be making all bunch of, bunch of uh, Tina Turners out here. And they out here swiping him and making him look bad. No, I'm sure he has learned. Respect is fundamental aspect of any relationship, especially a marriage. It appears that Brianna failed to treat her husband Latrue with the respect and dig dignity that he deserved. This lack of respect may have manifested in various ways, such as public humiliation. Oh, yeah, we know about what happened at public humiliation, which is probably a part of the reason why things had to be cleaned up because she has to clean up her image. So she doesn't have that on her record for the rest of her life. If you guys don't know what it was, she, apparently she sent a picture around that was, you know, a personal picture. And you cannot do that legally. You cannot send uh, revenge pictures around to people and think that's OK. This is back about Shrimp Gate. I don't know if y'all know about that. I'm sure you guys do. Shrimp Gate. He still takes it and makes fun of it. And, and he, you know, he is not that serious about it. He makes jokes. But let's just keep it real. That was a tough time for, for old boy, you know? All right. So 
disregard he she disregarded uh his feelings or engaging in harmful behave, behaviors that directly impacted their relationship oh yeah we we know that to be true she went left they do have a daughter together he has a daughter i think she's um his other his um, other daughter's having a baby so he's going through a lot personally but yet he still tried to put his best foot forward to keep this this momentum going and he was going to allow her to use his name why because it's beneficial for both of them they're pushing each other up you know the business of the aspect of the truth went down the drain for her she didn't realize that that allowed her to have a platform of three million that allowed her to have all of her businesses and her brands that allowed her to make all of this social media money and things like that that name and so now she's had to kind of like take that and maybe you know make other pages and, and and now she's doing something different with the guy and he's he has no personality this new guy he has no personality He's not a La Truth, never will be. La Truth is La Truth. Um, Joshua is Joshua. And, and, and that's it. Okay? By disrespecting her ex-husband, Brianna, not only damaged their personal relationship, but also affected their financial st stability. <laughs> I'm stuttering Stanley today. I'm sorry, because I could really do this without reading this, but this is actually helping me. Um, but anyway... I'm doing it anyway, y'all. It's, it's no, you know, I want to hear y'all do a talking video and see if you're not going to stutter a little bit. But anywho, yeah, by disrespecting her ex-husband, Brianna not only damaged their personal relationship, but also affected their financially, her financial stability. Yes, and his too. You get what I'm saying? But it's his name, so he doesn't, he can use it all day until the cows come home. It's her, you know, and she said, I don't need him. I don't. Honey, you too. And I'm not saying that she didn't help build it because he he needed a woman. Like the song says, behind every strong man, there's a, a, a strong woman. That, that James Brown song. It's true. She helped him. So why sit there and knock your own, uh, you know, business down just because the relationship personally did not work? I mean, have you not heard about Nicole Murphy? I mean, who cares, you know? Nicole, whatever her last name, is not the brand. Shawnee, even though Shawnee gonna drop her name, and now she's Shawnee Henderson, she'll always be Shawnee O'Neal. Let's just keep that 100, okay? Y'all don't understand. Like, maybe she'd understand. Yeah, that was a part of her business, and yeah, her financial stability has taken a hit. Okay? Now, Due to the breakdown of their relationship, Brianna may have lost access to these financial resources, which could have been a significant part of her, of her income. And that's why no one's really talking about it, because she ain't really doing nothing, because the money is different. Okay, Brianna's decision to disrespect her ex-husband may have led to the loss of her ability to continue using her married name, and that's true. She had to cease and, and stop using that name because she was dis disrespecting it, having receipts, saying he's this, saying he's that. I would have stopped her too. In some cases, when a couple divorces or separates, one party may choose to revert to their maiden name or adopt a new identity. And that's what she has done. She has adopted a new identity. It's called Just Brianna or whatever. It is possible that Latrue feeling disrespected and hurt by Brianna's actions may have taken legal measures to prevent her from using his name, which he did. Okay? It is very unfortunate to see a situation where personal choices and behaviors result in the loss of financial stability and personal identity. It serves as a reminder that respect, communication, and empathy are crucial in maintaining healthy relationships. Okay, so the way she was acting on social media caused a lot of grief. It caused her to literally tell everyone not to talk about her, not to have her clips. But guess what? That was giving her momentum as well. That was keeping the name alive. Okay, so... That's my uh, my take on it. Uh, that's basically if you guys are looking for people to talk about her and looking for people to give commentary on clips, you're probably not going to see that as much anymore because sis basically said stop. 
And I and I agree. If you're gonna talk about somebody like today, I talk about the situation. You guys can look at the So So Chanel Chronicles and and all the things that I've um, put up placed on this uh, platform with my face on it and with not. I can put my face on things. Why? Because I'm not saying anything disrespectful. I just go along with what they're saying and give my take. But I'm not gonna sit here and disrespect another person. That's just not what we're gonna do. That's not even what we can do and what we should do on this platform because we all are trying to you know you know live here and so you have to abide by rules the technical rules and and basically your moral rules of the, you know you can say your opinion without disrespecting and pushing down people and if you don't know how to do it learn to do it all right guys thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next video